What if all yachts, not just the new ones, had to reduce their carbon emissions by 40% by the year 2030. Many owners would just laugh about this as they happily refilled their tanks with fossil fuels. Maybe a little bit of uh, greenwashing, some exotic fuels, or maybe some carbon credits on the side that they bought with Bitcoin. Meanwhile, out on the oceans, away from the marina, there's abundant and free energy that's already being used by sailboat, but the uptake in the yachting sector, aside from traditional sailboats, that unfortunately tip has been very dismal. The International Maritime Organization is requiring ship owners to reduce their carbon intensity in shipping by 40% by the year 2030. Ship owners are scrambling to install wind propulsion systems on their ships. And by 2030, there will be well over 3,000 ships that have been retrofitted. The French built a rocket transport ship called Canapé that goes from France to South America on a regular route across the Atlantic. And so now we have proof of concept. It operates on a commercial schedule cruising at about 16.5 knots and it has achieved 13.6 knots under wind propulsion alone. And a yacht that is designed and built for sail propulsion would achieve much higher efficiencies. While yacht owners may not be feeling any monetary pressure to reduce their fuel consumption, they have a new concern. The popular press is now paying attention to mega yacht, mega conspicuous consumption. And so many owners are looking for new solutions. Ammonia, methane, hydrogen are all being promoted by the engine manufacturers in the shipyards. Inevitably, when they install these dual fuel systems, they're putting in full diesel tanks to go wherever they need to go in the event that they won't be able to find their exotic fuel, which in many cases they will not be able to do. So we all know that wind power is the oldest story in ocean navigation. With hydro generation under sail, the controllable pitch props can generate electricity to carry the hotel load. They can also add energy to the battery banks. If they plan their trip well, take advantage of the trade winds, ocean currents, they can make ocean passages burning no fuel. In addition, photovoltaic cells that are on the wing sails and also on parts of the deck can deliver the equivalent of a half ton of fuel that would normally feed the generators during the day.